Okay, I'm back, and uh, I guess fortunately, because <laughs> I'd rather um, get this really, really good. This is going to be a little bit confusing for people. Uh, my original uh, part four of this series was rejected because it was too long. It was two minutes and four seconds longer than, I guess, the 15 minutes they allow you. So I figured out, at least it seems they uh, only allow you that much time. Hopefully I am getting a screen on this. I'm actually right now, uh, the other ones, up to this point, I was using my droid to record. And uh, <laughs> number five and six will be from the droid. And then finally, number seven will be me testing it. And number eight will be uh, a follow-up I did. And then I'm going to have another little follow-up. But I'll chuck some of that follow-up in here. I <laughs> So what I was doing on video number four is I was, and I didn't explain this very well, and I think I should start out. Um, we were, I was at the um, quick cam team. If I can get the caps off here. Uh, I'm gonna go to Mozilla. I want to go to quick cam team, and hopefully I'm getting this in the camera. Quick cam team. I'm not very coordinated. Dot org. <laughs> O-R-G. <laughs> okay. Uh, .net. Good. Okay. And I was over here and I said, okay, uh, go to this page. Now, here's here's the deal. Uh, I found out this morning, I, I tested it on my other installation to my right there that I'm not going to put on the camera right now because I have the video showing and so I get this weird mirror effect. But the uh, what, what the deal is, I, ha I happen to have Ubuntu 10.04. And with that comes a kernel that is newer than 2.6.25. Uh, they say kernel 2.626 or later, or it includes 2.626. It, it has the driver already. All this page does, and the whole aim of this page right here is uh, to to do two things that I've since found out are not necessary for me as an Ubuntu 10.04 user. In fact, all I did this morning to get this camera to work was plug it in and install uh, the software that I'm going to end up recommending instead of VLC, but I'm going to give you some information about VLC in case you decide to use it, but I haven't been able to get VLC to work. Um, with a nice sharp image like that like the tool I'm using okay this web page right here uh, is for people that have a version of Linux in the, in the 2.6 kernel series this I, I wouldn't say that uh, the UVC video driver by following the instructions here will be able to be installed in an older uh, uh, installation uh, of Linux with a 2.4 kernel series will be a 2.6 kernel series and again it's 2.6.25 or below <laughs> that this page applies to otherwise it doesn't matter you don't need to do any of this stuff the aim of it is to give you a piece of software that will basically do the same thing as the series of commands that I've already gone over from uh, this guy Lars. I think he's a Lars. I need to get my papers in front of me. Yeah, Lars Strand's blog that I've already done in the last video. Um, one thing I, that got deleted that I thought was unfortunate in this part is the part about the Alza mixer. So I am going to cover that, and that could apply to everybody. And I think maybe I'll do that first. Then when I'm done with that, you could uh, move on. Now, I had already been recording audio with Audacity on the computer here to my right as I eat and talk at the same time. And I already had capture set up and I went to Alza Mixer, but I never had this camera plugged in. I went to Alza Mixer and I'm almost under the impression that um, this uh, program I'm going to recommend you use, uh, definitely going to recommend you use, uh, automatically just configured my Alza mixer for me. Which is great. <laughs> it, it, it allowed the 
and I'll, I'll go into that. You'll understand what I mean when I'm done with this. In fact, maybe I should start with that before I get into the point where I start saying, okay, this is what you have to do to get the uh, this tool. No, actually, you don't even need that. What you need, and I don't know why they say live webcam here. What you what this does is gives you a driver called UVC video. Okay, and in fact. Um, on any Linux distribution, if you just go to the to the shell, you'll know whether this you have to do this or not by doing one thing. As root, of course, uh, Ubuntu users are gonna might be used to using sudo, typing sudo before the command I'm gonna type right now. I'm used to using switch user uh, becoming root at that point, so I you know I. Did something that I showed in another video to get that to work in Ubuntu. Um, might have been an earlier video, but one of these other videos has how I got SU to work. I mean, it won't work out of the box. Then, then when you're here, um, okay, you're here, right? So you can do now. You have to have the device plugged in for the driver to load, but you would just do mod mod probe and you. V C video and you press enter and if it doesn't respond why that's actually a good sign it actually did load the driver as a result of doing that so the driver is loaded you do have that driver's part of your kernel you don't have to do this web page all those commands from Lars's blog will give you all the information you would need on uh, about your devices, and you don't you don't need the tool up there called um, UVC Dyn Control. I guess <laughs> uh, you don't need to do that. Okay, so I'm going to get back to this web page. But what I'm going to do first is the Alza mixer, and the problem is, see, when I had my Droid. I was able to have this plugged in, but you know what? I could just hide. I'm going to go over to this one where where, where it's where it's plugged in. My my all of my um, computers are humming like <laughs> fire engine trains or something. Okay, so let's go into the Alza mixer. Yes. Now, um, before I had ever used or started to use uh, VLC and my the computer, I just went away from um, I went in to set up Alza Mixer and you want to do this for, for the user that is going to run the program now if you're going to run a VLC, VLC won't even let you run as root as far as I know uh, I'm not sure if this program I'm going to recommend will either but um but you want to, if you do it as, you don't have to do sudo for this. You, you don't use sudo for this. You don't switch the user, you just open up your shell and type Alza Mixer. Up there where it's got F4, that's capture. And it tells me what capture cards I have. And it looks like, on the surface, that I don't have any capture settings at all. I mean, I, if I try to record anything, it's not going to work. But that's um, misleading if pay close attention up there on the left in the shell it says card is the Intel ICH5 and I got an analog device okay <laughs> this isn't showing all the cards okay I hit F6 it'll show me the sound cards and there is my USB device and I go down here captures up to 75 for this webcam 260 in particular um, there's only one thing that changes the settings and to uh, manipulate those settings you use the up and down arrows I'm not going to do now because I don't want <laughs> the audio that I have coming in and out of here to, to mess with um, with anything now, now again and this is kind of optional too I, I now gonna, uh, I'm going to say because I think the program I'm going to recommend just a second. 
Sorry, I got food in my mouth. Almost done. Um, allows you to adjust the mixer settings, and it works actually. It, it's incorporated. It's incorporated, you know, as, as a part of it, and it's pretty straightforward. VLC. I don't see that I had. I'm not so sure that I had really had an interface with the Alza mixer. VLC tries to do a lot of things. It tries to, it tries to play movies and it tries to record movies and in between trying to do both it doesn't really get any one of those uh, done great so if you find you come in here and you find that um, for whatever reason uh, this program that I'm going to recommend doesn't um, load up it doesn't produce any sound when you make a recording even though you've set the device which will be shown late in a later video um, you may have to go into Alza Mixer, and again, the only thing you need to do is you, you have to go to F4 for capture, F6 to select the sound card, select your USB device, and use the up and down arrows to change the volume. And that's it. You get out, you have to hit escape, and it holds all those changes you made. You don't have to save it, it saves it simultaneously. Um, okay, so if I can get. I don't want to do the wrong one. I think right here it's a controls, I think. Here they are. Okay, this is called the, um, and I go over this in another video later. But I guess, you know, <laughs> having a video reject, it kind of messes up with the smoothness, but then again, I don't want people to be messing with VLC only to find that it's really not the best tool in this situation. This happens to be called the GUC View program. It, it's the program is if you have it installed, it's called from the shell using GUC View. In fact, I'll leave it at that. Uh, there's a later video that goes into how you get this to work, but this is the program I recommend that that you use. Okay, now let's get back to this quick cam page and what the steps are if you don't have Ubuntu 1004. Because, again, all I did this morning is plug this in, install this program, and then uh, when I tried to save the program based on the settings that I picked, and I picked MPV, MPEG4, I think. Come on, go over there. It's grayed out, but there, there it is. When, when I picked it, it said, well, you don't have the codec for that. So I just searched for, you know, AVC or, or whatever. <laughs> um, it happened to you know, spit back at me that I needed and the word Ubuntu and Google. And uh, I eventually, you know, found a page how to get these codecs installed. And then I, I, I followed it using, you know, the, the same sources list thing. You know, I think I'll stop because I don't want to get this too long, and I'll continue.